Star Wars fans and action figure collectors are back with a new review. We're looking at Wrecker from the Bad Batch in the uh, so-called deluxe line. That's not really deluxe at all. It's just a bigger package for a slightly bigger figure, uh, much like Zeb and the other one. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty pretty damn excited to have Wrecker finally. Um, yeah, he's he looks fantastic in the package. I can't wait to crack him open. Um, here's number five from the Bad Batch. Um, so yeah, we've got Tech coming out hopefully within the month. That'd be great, part of that wave. And uh, hopefully Echo gets an announcement at some point in his Bad Batch version. So we just had Echo in his Arc Trooper outfit. So I don't know how long they're gonna take until they put another Echo out, but uh, hopefully it's not too far because I'd love to have a black Bad Batch version of Echo as well, because he looks fantastic in that armor. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's crack open Wrecker and take a look. All right, here is Wrecker in all his glory. What a fantastic looking figure. It just works so well. Um, I can't wait to just take down the other two members of the Bad Batch and just pose them up together. He looks fantastic. So I thought first we'd take a look at the accessories and slowly put them together. So we do have his his backpack here just got some cool little elements to it it's the uh, clone force 99 symbol there on the back if we can try and zoom up on that a little bit there we go it's got the 99 and the skull it's nice little nicks and scratches and stuff in it that despite not being painted they're still effective looks good and that will just peg onto his back like so and that fits in there quite nicely next we have his knife which is quite a lot bigger than hunters i'm sure most of you have seen hunters by now so this one is you know quite big which makes sense you know hunters uh wrecker's a bigger guy so needs the bigger knife and that slots into the sheath down there on his leg so that works a treat, that looks fantastic. I guess it doesn't matter which way it goes, I'd say it'd be that way more so. It fits in either way, so it looks good. Actually, maybe not. No, it fits better that way. He also comes with his blaster. It's sort of a Republic Commando sort of blaster, looks good. Not much, uh, no paint detail on it or anything, but the sculpt's nice. Now I wonder if there is a place for him to peg it. It doesn't appear to be. I thought there might be like a spot on the side with a magazine there on the side could plug into. But if there is, I'm not seeing it <laughs> yet. Maybe on his armor somewhere? Nope. That's okay. That's right, he's gonna be holding it for the most part, so might as well put it in his hand. And last but not least, we have his helmet, which honestly I think is my favorite of the of the looks. Um, I don't know, it's just unique. It's a unique design. I think it's great. Um, yeah, just, just the paint that that Wreck has put on it uh, uh, looks looks really good. It's uh, sort of that intimidating sort of beast look to it, as well as having the 99 at the top. Oh, I dig it. I think it looks great. And let's see how it fits. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it fits really well. Looks pretty good to me. So that's cool. I like it. I'm digging this figure, guys. I really am. So let's take a look at the figure anyway. Let's get a look at Wrecker's head sculpt, because that is fantastic. And giving him his sort of trademark cheeky grin. He's lost the vision in one eye. 
He has that sort of big scar on the side of his head, which I've seen some people do, like added weathering to it. I think Yakface did it as well and added some of that sort of colour to that scar and that made it look a lot better. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a crack at that myself and, uh, you know, see if I can't, you know, just tizzy it up a little bit, give it a little bit more um, detail. But in terms of the sculpt, I think the likeness looks great. Um, they've gone with a similar aesthetic as... Uh, Hunter and Crosshair have already as well, and that's sort of a slightly animated, but uh, you know, mostly realistic sort of look of the figure. But yeah, he came out looking really good, so I'm I'm pretty impressed. Now this top part of the armor is 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 quite soft. Let's just zoom out again. Um, so yeah, they've once again they're using sort of a pretty standard sort of figure base underneath um, that they'll be able to use again later. So it looks not sure, it's it probably pretty unique, so I'm not sure why they didn't sort of just sculpt this. I'd be interested to see if anyone's going to cut this thing up and, and take a look underneath to sort of see what what's going on with the uh, body underneath it. Because, yeah, that whole top piece, like, they've done it with Boba Fett recently. Um, they're, they're starting to do that with a couple of figures where they can probably just produce some soft softer plastic to slip over the sort of basic skeleton of the figure, so it works all right. Clone Force 99 on his shoulder. I just really like Wrecker's armor. I think it looks great. You know, he's he's basically a battering ram. Paint details great all across this guy. I like the sort of subtle weathering throughout. Like the scratches and dents and stuff like that it looks good. Yeah, I'm a big Wrecker fan, so this I'm, I'm absolutely stoked to have this figure. He, he came out absolutely fantastic. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. Uh, this guy did come from Zing Pop Culture here in Australia. Um, check online keep an eye online when it's when it's listed um as last time i checked earlier today it was listed as in-store purchase only so that will more than likely change over the coming days um you should be able to find him online for either delivery or pickup so and hopefully find out you know if it's in your local but yeah, awesome figure. Definitely recommend adding this one to the uh, Bad Batch collection if you have one. But yeah, fantastic stuff. Again, thank you for watching. Definitely appreciate it. And like I said, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. That'd be fantastic. And check the links in the description for all my social media. And... Uh, I have a little Redbubble store with some merch that I designed myself. And a P.O. box where you could send a friendly letter or something. That would be cool. Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. Definitely appreciate you taking the time to check it out. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, may the force be with you, always.